This is Brian from ScreenFiles.com with My Two Cents. What I'm looking at today is the recent coming together of Valiant Comics and Sony Pictures to make movies based on the Valiant Universe. I think this is a great idea for three reasons. The first reason is that no one knows who these characters are. If I were to say Ninjack or Bloodshot, most people would look at me as if I'm from Mars. Most people, even comic readers for that fact, don't know who these characters are. That's not a bad thing because they're not beholden to anyone other than Valiant and Sony. The movie going audience won't know what behaviors they should or shouldn't see from these characters and that works to their benefit. Keep in mind the problem with Batman v Superman, as well as Man of Steel to perhaps a lesser degree, was that Batman and Superman acted in fashions that the comic audience was unaccustomed to seeing. This upset a lot of people. Sure, it, it had, both movies had their fans, but at the same time, a lot of people were upset by the way they acted. Valiant won't run into these problems on the whole, because no one knows who they are. Another thing that should work to the benefit of Valiant is that they're starting small, so to speak. They're making a few movies based on characters like Ninjak and Bloodshot and Harbinger, and they're culminating in an event movie like The Avengers or Batman v Superman, that type of thing. There's, but this starting small works to their benefit because they have time to grow. If you keep in mind that Marvel Studios did not was not always the powerhouse that they currently are. They started out relatively small with movies like Iron Man and Thor and so, with a plan, but relatively small steps forward. And they were eventually purchased by Walt Disney and everything went into hyperdrive. This is the same type of approach that hopefully Valiant will take as well. Starting small, introducing viewers to these characters, who they are, their their whole um, range of abilities and so on and so forth, and then grow it. A gradualist approach is the best method in this instance. It kind of goes opposite to what DC Films has done, in which you have yet only Man of Steel before they introduced a Batman v Superman movie. It's too rushed, and it didn't benefit them very well either, for that matter. If these movies come in the ballpark of anywhere from 50 to 100 million dollars per film, they'll probably be okay. Reason being, that's for a feature film, that's not a lot of money. And if, of course, they have to look good, the effects have to be at least presentable. But if they invest too much in these movies, they run the risk of failure. If one of these movies premieres, with a budget in the range of 125, 150 million dollars, I'd be really worried if it's going to be profitable because, as I mentioned earlier, no one knows who these characters are. So, to spring a very event level movie on people initially is a bad move. It should not cost event movie money to produce. If Valiant and Sony follow those three guidelines, I think it's inevitable that their movies will be a success. This is Brian from ScreenFiles.com. Let me know what you think. Peace.